Hi everybody, welcome to the October 21st, 2016 edition of Colorado Inside Out Post Game, a special web exclusive production here on Channel 12. I'm your host Dominic Dizzuti. Let's get a quick take on Denver District Attorney Mitch Morrissey and the Colorado ACLU being at odds over the legality of taking a selfie with your ballot. Patty Calhoun from Westward, a selfie with your ballot seems like a distinctly 2016 problem. Your thoughts? I'm surprised anyone is, you'll notice what I'm opening right now. I am surprised anyone in this state, you know, even wants to admit they're voting and will take a selfie and admit who they're voting for. So why shouldn't we encourage everyone who wants to vote to just, we can tell people who we're voting for, there's no reason you can't take a picture with your ballot. It's going to take longer than I thought. Um, it's a big ballot. This is a problem. This is not a problem that needs a solution and I'm not entirely sure why oh it is a big ballot why <laughs> Mitch Morrissey needed to um, threaten people who might want to take a photo of showing they're actually doing their civic duty David Copel from the Penn Institute and DU Law School I can't imagine the DA's uh, uh, office putting a lot of resources into bringing all the scoff laws from Facebook who are posting who the, with the temerity to post a selfie on Facebook but I'm not the lawyer here you are what do you think He's just trying to protect people from their own bad judgment. I mean, imagine you're like 21 years old now, and then you, you post something that shows you voted for Trump or Clinton, and then the one you voted for wins. Ten years from now, when either has led this country to catastrophe, there's going to be a lot of recriminations and resentment. I mean, you might as, you'd be better off, you know, posting yourself you know, with your 12 chamber bong, you know, uh, at the meth lab uh, in terms of your future employment possibilities. Uh, I did not think about future reference issues. Yeah. That's a good point. But it's the law is of questionable constitutionality, but it hasn't been ruled unconstitutional here. The First Circuit, which covers New England, ruled against a similar law, and in a court in Indiana uh, did the same. But the, the DA is in, in a tough position because his job isn't to say, well, we're not going to just, you know, it, it's a arguably constitutional law certainly hasn't been held unconstitutional so he, he's saying what he should but the you know the ACLU is also doing what it should and saying this is uh, pretty questionable and if there were a prosecution uh, they, they'd go to court and uh, have a good chance of winning. Eric Sonnen, political analyst, are we on the cusp of seeing if the First Amendment protects narcissism? Is that where we're at? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're on the cusp of anything other than the cusp of having this dang election over, here, here. which it can't happen soon enough. That was brilliant, David. Uh, well done. I hadn't thought of that angle. I always advise my, my, my kids of how to avoid social media embarrassment. I know that David is uh, only in that spirit. <laughs> my take on this was that I'm you know, glad Mitch Morrissey and the Denver DA's office has issues of police violence solved, of relationships between cops and the community solved, of violence in Lodo solved, of the scene on the 16th Street Mall, property crimes throughout the city. Given that that's all under control, go ahead, tackle this one. And public affairs consultant Ben Gilt rounds up the panel. Um, I, okay, is this is this a, a pending epidemic that Mitch Morrissey fortunately has has stemmed with this wise legal advice? Oh, it's a huge problem with young people just taking all these irresponsible <laughs> selfies with their ballots in precarious positions and falling off of cliffs. And um, you know, I couldn't agree more with Eric. And when I saw this story, I thought, boy. What a great use of, of bandwidth from their office because there are just no social ills around Denver, no problems with crime, no community issues. Um, so really uh, helpful, useful stuff from, from the outgoing district attorney. <laughs> you wonder why that might be besides term limits. That's all the time we have for Colorado Inside Out Post Game this week. Leave us a comment, tell us what you think. For everyone here at CPT12.org, I'm Dominic Dizzuti. Thanks for watching.